Hey guys, Alex Williamson here. I just wanted to point out a little something, which is that my Rummy Nose Tetras, uh, they have active camouflage, and I'm just learning this now. I just turned the lights on, and I know that they hide when they sleep, but right now their snouts are not very red at all. And when the lights come on, I know for a fact in the rest of the day that their snouts get redder and redder. See, here we, here we go. It's already happening. So, as we're watching, that snout is getting redder and redder and redder. So, that must be an active camouflage or a cue to the rest of the social group uh, that the, it's moved from almost barely visible to a soft pink on these guys, and it's getting darker by the minute. So... That's kind of interesting. Um, when you watch your fish, there's always something new to learn from them if you're watching carefully. Now, my ember tetras, they also have kind of a paler color um, in the morning. So it's interesting to me that it takes them a while to get going. It's probably their blood flowing, and uh, they, they put more thought into their camouflage. Whereas in the night... Um, the energy is being saved, and they find themselves a hiding spot. Uh, at least the rummy knows really do. They really hide. And uh, I just find that kind of interesting. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm still learning what other creatures do this. Uh, now I know that endlers can actively camouflage like a chameleon. Um, and it's more than just um, all fish can change colors when they're sick or stressed. Um, but that's not really a, a happy on-demand cue, so to speak. So um, I just wanted to point that out. And uh, the rummy nose now it looks like we're getting closer to full normal red. Um, definitely uh, with some of... The, yep, there we go. So that's pretty normal for them right there. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So thanks for tuning in and... That's all. They're great fish that usually they school together in the day great. So my quarries school together really well, and my rummy nose school together really well in a 40-gallon tank. And I've got six rummies, so they look pretty cool. They almost look like little sharks, and I highly recommend them. They're very peaceful. Um, they have small mouths, so they're not bugging my shrimp or anything. And uh, they're from the same environment as the guppies, and the other tetras in the tank, which probably helps, and the quarries for that matter. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Keep on swimming.